Hey everybody and welcome to another part of Mario Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. As you can probably tell, I have a new microphone and uh, you know, well, I like it a lot better actually. It sounds a lot more cleaner. But uh, ignoring all that, that's, that's useless information to you guys. <laughs> in the last part, we found out that in order to catch Dermite, we can now enter in a certain part of Bowser's body because as you know, when we use that Punch Ray Boo machine, or Boo Ray Punch machine, whatever, it uh, does stuff, so that's good for us. <laughs> and when you turn on the light, um, what happens is we get these special platforms that appear. So using these platforms, we can get all the way up to the top. Um, as far as I know, these platforms, are, yeah, they're present even without the Blu-ray light machine. The only difference is that you can't see them, so you don't know where you're jumping. So it's kind of like you need that blue blue ray light machine basically the blue ray light machine you're gonna constantly be turning it on and off because bowser you know bowser's body reacts differently depending on when you have the blue ray light machine and when you don't which is kind of weird because it makes no sense <laughs> i mean why would you have a body part that specifically reacts to a blue ray light machine when you had no idea that blue ray light machine exists but whatever that's that's my nintendo logic in a nutshell so what we're gonna want to do is Get rid of this, do this, 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 and then, um, okay. Right here we have a new enemy, so I'm just gonna open up this barrier and try not to get hit, but I'll get hit anyway. Okay. Anyways, uh, these things are called naps, is, and there's really no better way to show off their attacks than, well, seeing them themselves. So, let's just attack it and get a whopping 71 damage, which is not a bad deal at all. And this attack is basically when they are going to send balls of light at you, and they all they'll turn blue as soon as they're, um, as soon as they're, uh, ready to be attacked, so you gotta memorize the number and stuff, but it's no big deal because just jump with both bros, it's not gonna kill you to jump with both bros, unless you're like me and you can't get the timing right, in which case, it's gonna kill you. Terrible. And they drop 300 AXP. As I said, you need to be level 40 in order to get the optimal um, equipment that I want. So it's always a good idea to do that and stuff. So, yeah. Alright, we're going to want to open up this thing before we head out. And it's basically a shortcut to have us continue on. And I say save again. Just because. Uh, now that we're finished with that, we're going to want to move on to this room. And in this room. There's this little pot pit of boiling acid, which is kind of demonic. I mean, a demonic means of an end. Uh, you're gonna need to hit the Bowser flight on, aren't you? Because there's a yep, there's a platform here, and you're gonna want to head on that. Um, so I'm recording this. this is the day up is gonna go up, and there's actually a hurricane in my area, and I'm confused. Oh no, that's right. You gotta do stuff. Anyway, so like I was saying, there's a hurricane in my area the day I'm recording this. So you know. Hopefully I'm not gonna die enough to make me make another part. <laughs> nah, it's not gonna be too bad. It's a hard, it's a category one. It's not like it's terrible, but yeah, it's first time anything's ever happened in the area that I live in, which I'm not gonna tell you guys because that's creepy. But in the area that I live in, just take for granted that there's not many hurricanes. All right, there. Is, this is the place where you're supposed to go up here. I'm thinking, no, Luigi died. That's no fun. <sighs> Because up to the right is where you're going to have to go, but before you do that, to the left, there's something else of, uh, of interest. Um, at least I think there is. I if my memory is not terrible about this game. Yep, there's something of interest. There's a super nut. And if you guys don't know, nuts basically heal both bros, and I'm going to have to... Oh, that worked out really nice. Uh, but nuts heal both the bros, there's different types of nuts. Oh, flub. <laughs> I meant to hit start, and instead I hit X. That's just my luck, isn't it, though? Whatever. Now I'm gonna hit start. Or, er, start. And, and now, let's see here. What I was gonna explain about the, or, or, or the concept of nuts, and basically nuts are... 
are things that heal both bros. Not just plain old nuts here. Heal 20 HP, super nuts hit heal 40, and that's all. You, know, you guys, I, you probably know a little bit about ultra nuts and ultra mushrooms. Ultra's like the most advanced, like the max, as far from like, you know, the actual max, but. Actually, I'm gonna shut up now because I'm really rambling on at this point. So, bada bing, bada boom, and we run straight into an enemy. Alright, uh, it didn't show off one of its other attacks, so I'm gonna show this battle as well. And, uh, okay, uh, when it does this, it'll make each of them have half an HP, but they both can attack twice. It's kind of like meiosis before cell replication, or, or like non meiosis. It's like just cell division. It's not really much of a DNA getting passed on. Whatever, that's just me talking like the little nerd that I am. We're gonna ignore that, and uh, I don't believe this place can, this this will take you anywhere. If it does, I'm wrong. Yeah, these these pipes don't take you anywhere. They're just for show. All right, there's another naps right here, so I'm gonna wanna try to show this off. And I got the first attack. Nice. All right, I'm gonna wanna. I'm doing this just to fill up that the the uh, the ray to show off what it can do. Not the ray, the thingy, the, the, the badge thingy. Whatever. <laughs> okay, so we fought that naps, and all right, I'm guessing that's all I really need to show off. Okay, here we have an instance of something that was available in all the other Mario games, so it's going to have to be available right here, and it is that which pulls you back up all the way because I don't feel like jumping, and I don't believe. Yep, you have the option. Okay. I wanted to get all those coins. It's gonna go back up again. Okay, now that we're back up, what we're gonna do now is head into this little pipe thingy. And heading up into here, we find Dermite heading into the star. It's like Starship Mario, what? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But uh ugh. blah, shut up. Shut up! I don't need to do that. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to have to enter into here, but the problem is we have to get this star replicated thingy. Now, all these thingies are going to tell you, all those, uh, I guess you could call them, I don't know what to call them, globins, em emo globins, that's what they're called, wow, I don't, they only said it like 20 million times. Their vocabulary consists of like globin, like every other word, no big deal. No, but um, see this thing right here? Basically, you have to go into each one of these pipes and grab a different star piece, you know, because that's definitely not from Paper Mario. And doing so, well, number one, there's a point right there. And I'm not going to hit this attack block just yet. But doing so will get us a big old star right here, which we can take. And... Um, uh, okay, making, taking special note not to hit that thing. We'll go right here and we'll see that we can enter the thingy with the stuff. And I know I say that catchphrase a lot, but no big deal. So, I guess I haven't uploaded a part in forever, and it's been a while since I've ever recorded one, so I guess I could show off one, me, me, me doing one of the thingies. So I'm going to start right here, I'm going to enter into this thingy, and... Okay, right here, basically, once you defeat, once you finish off the thing, once you finish off this room and get the piece, which is basically a block, which you'll see later, uh, there's a little bit, there'll be a little, like, um... Uh, there's a little level ledge that appears right here, and doing so will allow, uh, jump, you know, when it appears, you can easily just enter in and... Wait a second. Right, this is... I can't do this quite yet. That's, that's right. Alright, uh, I can enter in this one, because you have to start somewhere, don't you? Now, anyways, uh, like I was saying, there's a ledge right here, and going on top of this ledge will allow you to quickly transverse this entire area. Now we get the another addition of these thingies. These are like moving blocks which basically stop moving as soon as you hit the Bowser thingy, but you need them to move a little bit. So what we're gonna want to do is just navigate these things and have them to be ours. Now we're on this ledge and we're gonna enter into this room and this thing we have to be able to move that like that. There we go. Now I can jump off across from right here and not fight the gnats. Oh, okay, I have to fight the gnats because now I gotta show off these thingies. 
these things are called pets, and they basically specialize either in defense, which is which is uh, green, as you can see, attack, which is I believe I forget what attack is actually, and speed is blue. No, attack is red. That's right. And when if when it's in speed, it'll do like that weird attack where it just like speeds up and attacks you. When it's in attack, it'll just punch you with a lot of force. And when it's in defense, it won't do much, but it takes a lot of defense to kill. So we're gonna want to just um, attack these nasties. And of course, I fail at like showing off how to defend against them. I don't think I defended against them once. And okay, it it, it they change, they change. That's right. And I don't want to attack it too much. Just gonna do a fail hammer. This hammer doesn't do as much damage as jump does. I'm doing a pretty good job of showing off this attack. I'm surprised. And of course it goes just to defense. It's not gonna die for me, is it? Alright, whatever, I'm just gonna bam the crap out of this thing. Yeah. Alright, anyways, uh now that I'm done with that. <laughs> um Oh cool, another one. Now I can finally show this thingy off. Okay, so there's two of these, so I'll be able to definitely show off this. If they turn into attack, that is, they're probably not going to turn into attack. And I apologize if my commentary is kind of low. I'm trying to get back into the field of recording. I haven't recorded in a week, and yeah. Okay, there we go. That's the attack. That's the attack, and it just like comes with a lot of attack, and it's got to really attack the thingy. Otherwise, it's not going to really do much damage to you. I mean, it's going to do a lot of damage, but it doesn't take much HP. Alright, so Mario increases up the level. And because he's up the level, we can increase his... I'm gonna have to say special. No. For this dash. This dash is Mario. Of course, as usual, when I can get a 5, I'm just gonna get a 2. I'm just getting used to it by now. I don't really care anymore. And I have to get up to level 40, and I'm only on level 16, and I'm about halfway through the game. That's sad. Uh, stash again. Alright, three's not bad, I guess. It's right in the middle. Not, 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 nothing, nothing, nothing to cry about. Alright, so let's see if I can do this right. Because you gotta navigate these boo block thingies in a certain manner, and I think I can transverse it right now. Yep. And you're gonna wanna get up to here. Get this coin. Just cause. Alright, what you're gonna wanna do now is wait for this thingy to move across a little bit. No, wait a second. Okay. I'm gonna wait for this thingy to pass over because there's another enemy I gotta introduce now. And these are called Piranha Porks, and they're basically like regular piranhas in that they come out of pipes and attack you. And I'm probably, I'm probably gonna have to show off this attack now. There's this thingy where it'll basically try to attack you. What you gotta do is you gotta look at the color and use that to um, distinguish what's what. You're gonna want to start using Mario versus Luigi on this enemy because if you use both the bros, you know, you have the ability, you have the chance of it sending out two things and you have to be able to hit it in time. If you understand what I mean, great, otherwise I wouldn't blame you because I don't really understand what I'm talking about right now. I'm trying to get by this area because I don't really like these enemies in this in this in this area at least. The enemies are kind of kind of kind of whack. Alright, so it's basically simply put, just do this and you get this thingy. With which we can I have no idea what just happened. It was like the enemy got me on the rebound, but I wasn't really on the rebound. I was in the middle of some whatever, whatever. Cool. Two attack, two uh, attack pets. I can chop their moves a little bit more. They can also combine into each other. That's right. I would I would have forgotten if they hadn't uh, shown me that. And now it has like triple power. So if you attack it, it's going to be definitely a lot worse. The worst is when they have like uh, the speed with more attack, because that's just terrible and you get totally ass raped if you don't do it right, for lack of a better term. Um, but now that that's done with, what you're going to want to do is, by the way, you cannot jump with these things, I don't really, 
I don't know if you should. Okay, before we worry about that, this thing's gonna have to move up a little bit so we can, um. Okay, and you can't jump with these thingies, so you gotta rely on your ability to go in a horizontal route and not die. Or rather, not lose your ability, because as soon as you jump, you automatically lose that. And we're gonna wanna make this thing go down a little bit more. Because now what we're gonna wanna do is not die but we die anyway. Kind of just shows how bad our luck is. I don't know. Okay. Let's try this again. There we go. That should be pretty good and I fail. It needs to drop a little... I think it has to drop a lot more then. As soon as that's on the highest. Okay, there we go. That's why I'm gauging it. There we go. That's right. No, wait a second, I am totally wrong. You do not want to have this thing, um, parallel with that thing. You want to make sure it's up, because make sure it's up, yeah. My, I um, think I'm turning Italian by playing this game too much. But, you don't want to have it parallel, because you want to fly across. Yeah. Figures I fail at that. Alright, this is the block I'm talking about. When you hit this block, it'll make part of the star appear because you know hitting a block definitely will do that and like I said as soon as you hit that block there's a small ledge that forms which means you can transverse that area a little bit more better Lee and let's see what this thing has to say oh shyest little glob and boo it shines you high boo hoo oh shyest little glob and boo shine inside the five hoo <laughs> lyrics yeah, okay whatever I was trying to songify it like shmo yo ho but you know I'm not winning like Charlie Sheen and as soon as you enter this room, each time you get uh, the piece of the star panel that you have completed, and you get an oddly shaped star panel. Obviously, if you have all five star pieces together, you get the correct shaped star panel. And, you know, well, this has been a pretty long part because I haven't uploaded in forever. Um, I'm going to try to start uploading more. Uh, just because I'm uploading this part, again, doesn't exactly mean that my recording setup is right. More or less, it just means that um, I have free time and my recording setup is decent enough for me to not have 20 million background noises as I'm recording. So that's an example of background noise, by the way. <laughs> like I said, my recording setup is nowhere near perfect, but it's doable right now. So, yeah, it's time to say sign over to this part. Until next time, uh, it's been Phoenix Man 1015. Uh, between this part and the next part, you know. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, do as you will, but don't you ever forget, who's the man? Phoenix Man! Alright, see you guys later.